This is the Raspberry Pi startup sequence powering on. Got all eight Raspberry Pis all booting up at the same time. Pretty cool. Top view of them all. And side view. And yes, they are all networked together. I have them through a switch down the bottom here. Um, that's all the slaves on the bottom. So that's from Raspberry Pi 2 to 8. And then Raspberry Pi 1 is going through to the main switch behind. So I have you know, my setup over here. But the Raspberry Pi cluster, I get all the networked all them looped and then back there you see the blue cable that's the uh, slave cable as you can see from over here um, and then the other black cable that goes back there is the main Raspberry Pi but there you go you have that and if you were to open up PuTTY and log in I'm going to log in as Pi and then it's a simple password of Raspberry. There you go. You have your login. Now, I installed MP Open MPI, and then I'm using a, a some some commands to actually tell it to start one process of of a Minecraft server. And if I were to start that up right now it will start loading on the Pi. You can see the main Pi starting to blink and then eventually you'll start to see all of them to connect which is kind of so very interesting. Like You can see them all connecting now, all flashing. And then eventually once they connect I will have text back on the screen saying that the server has started. Oh, there you go. So, it took about, what, 15 seconds, 20 seconds to initialize. And then now I'm starting the Minecraft server on 8 Raspberry Pis. Took 15 seconds to load that. Pretty cool. And if I were to go to, so this is running in the background, I'll put it up on the top monitor. And then if I were to actually load up Minecraft, that this is the latest version by the way, 1.7.5. Uh, I could play Minecraft on My pies. Which is so very cool. So, so very cool. You'll be able to see the messages up top. There you go. Joining the game. There you go. Got Minecraft up and running. Now I'm going to move this so that I can uh, play a bit for you. But uh, the basic commands. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm creative. Doesn't really help, but. Let's go see where the world's being generated. It 
that's what you really want to know. The generation on the Pi. This is not a world hole. This is a Minecraft map loading. Anyways, that's how I use the Pi. And hope that helps for future installations of a small server based systems on Raspberry Pis. Have a good day.